my name's Claire from Renshaws and I'm going to show you how to decorate Union Jack shortbread biscuits. Okay, so using the blue from our icing pack, take the icing from the pack and there's two packs of blue in this box set and then on a clean dry work surface knead the two packs together until they're nice and soft kneading them into a ball shape okay and now that's ready to roll so rolling out on icy sugar lightly dust the work surface try not to get the icy sugar on the blue icy roll out backwards and forwards and keep it turning to avoid it sticking to the work surface putting pressure on as you roll if you do get a little bit of icy sugar on the blue icing you can just use the put a clean dry hand just to smooth it away like so but try and avoid it okay now taking some apricot jam, this is cold boiled apricot jam, and a palette knife, just spread a thin layer of apricot jam onto the biscuits. Then you need to cut using a sharp knife, rectangles about the, approximately the same size as the biscuit. And you can cut these out individually or you can cut all your biscuits rectangles out for all your biscuits at the same time like this so picking up your icing and just place it on top of the biscuit patting it down so it sticks like so so you would carry on and decorate all your biscuits and any excess blue icing you have you can knead back into a ball to an airtight container and you can use it again Okay, now we're going to go on and roll out the white icing. Before that, we need to wash our hands. Now we need to put white stripes on our Union Jack biscuits. So we need to take our white ready to roll icing and again on a clean dry work surface, knead the white icing so it's nice and soft into a ball ready for rolling. Like so. Again, rolling out on icing sugar, slightly dusted. And again, rolling backwards and forwards to prevent sticking. Okay, and this needs to be slightly thinner than the blue. Okay. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put the cross on the front of the biscuit first. So we need to cut strips. So just okay, and with some cool boiled water. And a paintbrush, lightly brush where you're going to stick the white ice in. Okay, you don't need too much water. Now there's your strip of ice and you can cut it in half and then place over one side of the biscuit and place the other one like a cross in the middle. Trim off the excess. And also trim the middle piece and just lift that off with the tip of the knife and we also now need white stripes just going on a diagonal in the corner and they need to be slightly thinner so again wet where the stripes are going to be and 
Okay. And again, you can place them over. You can place it in one go if you like, and then cutting off and place the opposite direction. Cutting off the excess and again the middle pieces. Lifting that piece off. Okay, tapping it down, make sure it's all stuck. And now we're ready to move to the red stripes. So any white that you have left over, just knead into a ball. So you knead that into a ball and you can pop that into an airtight plastic bag and use again later. Okay, and now you can wash your hands to go to the red icing. Okay, now we're going to put the red stripes on top of the white stripes. So again, we need to take our red ready to roll icing and we're going to knead it on again on the clean, dry work surface with the heels of the hand. So it's nice and soft, ready for rolling. Okay, to a ball. Again, dust the work surface lightly with icing sugar. Okay, and using the rolling pin, again, roll backwards and forwards putting pressure on, avoiding getting any white icing sugar onto the red. Okay, and again, cut stripes. And these red stripes need to be uh, slightly thinner than the white stripes. Okay, again, sticking down with cool ball water. Doing the straight lines first. Again. Tapping down to stick. Okay, and then trimming off across the top and just taking that piece off there. Okay, then you need to do the diagonal and they need to be slightly thinner in width again. So very, very thin this time. Again, sticking down with water. Okay, and you can go straight across on a diagonal. Tapping down to stick, trimming off the excess. Okay, cutting another strip about the same size to go the opposite way. And then trimming the excess. and then pulling off the red that crosses in the middle. You can then knead all the red icing back together into a ball and you can again put that in a plastic bag airtight and you can use it again for your next biscuits. And there you have your finished decorated shortbread biscuit.